I'm tracking a cold front that's making its way across the southeastern U.S. It'll keep us warm today and give us showers tomorrow. I'm meteorologist Megan Borowski, and here's a look at our satellite and radar from just earlier. You can see that front kicking up downpours and thunderstorms over the panhandle. It'll stay west of our area today, and we'll have southerly winds driving up our temperatures and keeping the cloud cover overhead. Your highs this afternoon in the upper 70s. Some spots might make it to 80 degrees. 79 in Ocala today, 76 in Gainesville, 78 degrees towards Stark. With that cloud cover hanging around throughout the evening, a couple of stray showers north and west toward the Big Bend, uh, but here in Gainesville and down toward Ocala, just cloudy skies this evening. Now, overnight, I am expecting dense fog to develop, especially along the Nature Coast. That'll limit visibility in the morning. Notice your temperatures in the morning, pretty mild in the lower 60s. And then tomorrow, the big story, of course, is that cold front finally will arrive to our area. So it should push into the Big Bend uh, a little bit before lunchtime, and then it'll get to the I-75 corridor around 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Notice on future track scattered downpours, a couple of thunderstorms possible with this line as it moves through our area. Then as we get into the evening, the rain will die off. We'll still have some cloud cover early on, but overnight that cloud cover really dissipates and we get a shot of northwesterly winds. That's going to cause temperatures to dip into only only the upper 50s as your highs on Thursday afternoon. Even with plenty of sunshine, we are expecting some frost on Friday morning. Highs Friday afternoon in the lower 60s. We start to warm up toward the end of the weekend by Sunday. Highs in the mid 70s.